Hi guys, it's Nicole, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about communication, because I think a lot of our problems with our kids come down to communication issues, and I think there's three main issues that we have that stop our communication from being effective. The first is we're not listening. The second one is that we're talking over each other. The third one is that we're not explaining ourselves very well. So to be able to listen more fully and more presently, I think starts with asking why. Um, because a lot of times with my kids, I see them do something and I'm like, ah, don't do that. That's so bad. And I'm like, okay. So I stop myself a little bit and I say, why did you do that? Like the other day, my toddler, she kind of like flung her dinner plate on the floor and I was really mad. And I, I was like, and then she says, mom, it was an accident. I was just trying to move it aside. And I was like, oh, all right. Well, come help me clean it up. Here's a paper towel. And we moved forward because her intent was really just like to scoot the plate over, not to fling a bunch of rice all over the floor. And I think that if I had just stayed in that moment where I was mad and just like continued on being mad, then like, I'm just going to yell and yell and yell for like 20 minutes. And I'm going to base it off an intent that she didn't even have. So listening is super crucial. And listening is not formulating your thoughts in your head while you're listening to somebody else, because that's not really listening. Listening is having both your ears open and your heart open. Because when we listen with an open heart, we're really intending to understand what other people are saying. And when we listen to understand, that gives us a much different interpretation where we're just waiting for our turn to talk. And I think that's really important. And that kind of goes to my second point of talking over each other because we hear the first thing somebody says and it triggers us in our mind. We're like, no, that's not right. That's not okay. And we start to talk over them and give our own point. And obviously if we're talking, we're not listening. So that's a big thing. And I think that's how a lot of arguments happen is we don't wait for other people to finish what they're saying. We just jump in right away like that. And then communication stops because when we're both talking at the same time, that's not effective communication. So that goes to my third thing. Uh, stating our points effectively. So when I try to explain things to my kids, the first thing I do, I sit down next to them, wherever they are, I get on their level. So I'm not talking way up here where they're talking way down there. And I say, can you listen to me please? Because clearly if they're not listening, nothing I'm gonna say is gonna matter. And what I do is I try to state my most important points up front. So if I say, when you did that, I was worried that you're not safe. Then they're more likely to listen than say, you can never do that, don't do that, because then they're all, they're not hearing why. And a lot of times, like I said before, why is the most important thing that we're trying to communicate of why something happened, why we did something, why we reacted the way we did. And if we don't state that right up front, a lot of times people check out and they're not listening to the rest of what we have to say. So if you say the most important point up front of, I did this because of X, then you can go back and explain all your intervening thought process after that because they really are listening. And by stating that most important reason why up front, it creates people a willingness to listen. So we have to create that willingness with our kids. And with each other, because if we're not willing to listen to them, then they're not going to be willing to listen to us. And that's where our communication stops again. So I see this a lot on like TV programs that I watch where people are arguing and they're having this huge fight and like spouses are talking to each other for weeks or business partners or us with our kids or whoever. It's a lot of times because of a miscommunication. And the the things that we do and the way we communicate, it matters. And the way we frame things and the way we say them, it matters. So I always try to say things in a positive manner of, instead of sit down, stop jumping around, say, will you sit down please? And sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't, but we're not like starting from an adversarial starting place. And I think that makes a huge difference because if we want somebody really to be open-hearted listening to us, we don't want to start off making them defensive. 
Because when they're defensive, that's when they start stating their own points and talking over you. So we want to create an environment where people feel safe to say what they need to say and create that place where we can have an open heart and they can have an open heart. Because when people are hearing each other's hearts, there's not as much miscommunication going on. And we get to our real point and we can come to a compromise. And I think a lot of times compromise is possible when we think it isn't. And it's really just because we're not understanding where people are starting from. And once we actually understand that, it makes communication so much easier. And I think that creating that environment of open communication, especially with our kids, creates relationships that have a much more basis in trust and openness and honesty. And we're able to say the things we need to say and we, they know that we love them and we're not saying, I don't love you, I'm mad at you. And a lot of times I'll start off just saying that with my kids. I'm saying, I'm not mad. And then I say, can you listen please to why I'm upset about this? Because I'm still gonna have to tell my kids no about stuff. They can't white finger paint on the wall. They can't you know, spit on the ground. I mean, there's lots of things that don't want my kids to do. But if I start off saying, I'm not mad, here's why, and here's what we need to do differently, they're a lot more likely to listen because they're not just shutting off and going, mom's mad, so I'm mad, so I'm gonna go pout in the corner. And so if you would like some more tips on this or more ways to communicate better with your kids, I do have quite a few other videos where I talk about tackling some difficult conversations with your kids. And this is kind of a basic, like step back a little bit starting point. So um, if there's anything you'd like me to talk about in the next video, let me know in the comments. Um, subscribe to my channel, share this video if you think it's helpful, and check out my blog at millennialmom.net. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you very much.